Good day and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be practicing sections. Okay, now um, this basically deals with breaks. Okay, so we can look at a section break, we can look at a page break. Um, and you can see here I just have a document, uh, everything grayed out. We've got text, supposed to be text here. Then we have a table, but this table is too big for this page, so it goes over to the next page. So I'm going to do something with that. But let's first of all just have a look at the page break. So if we go to insert and we look at our page break over there, you can see that wherever I put my cursor, let's say I put it at the end of the first paragraph. If I select this page break, it breaks that page and pushes everything after that first paragraph over to the next page. Okay, so that's what it does. I'm just going to reverse that and then page break again so that you can see what it does. Okay, um, if we want to look at our breaks, we need to go to our layout tab. And here you'll see under page setup, uh, we've got a number of options. We have our margins. Okay, um, and if we click on that, you can see we have the different templates for our margins. However, if the question paper does ask you to insert a specific margin, you'll have to go to custom margins and there you can go and type it in. So they will tell you um, what they want from you. Okay. Now, on the orientation side, if I change the orientation from portrait, which you can see it's highlighted, to landscape, look what it's going to do. It's going to make sure that everything here, the entire document is landscape. Okay, and that's not what I want. What I actually want to do in this example is just turn the second page, just make the second page um, go to a landscape view so that I can fit this entire table um, in on its side. Okay, I'm just adjusting the ruler there. So here you can see I've got everything on my second page and I, I want that to display on its side. Okay. So we've looked at margins, we've looked at the orientation, we've got the size as well. Again, they'll tell you in the question paper usually which one they'd like you to choose, but this is just where you go. All right, we've looked at columns in another video, and now we're going to look at our breaks. And you'll see when we click on breaks, we've got a number of breaks. We've got page breaks, like I showed you earlier. Um, we've dealt with a column break in another video. And then we've got section breaks, okay? Uh, section break, this one takes us to the next page. So if I go up here and I go to my second paragraph and I say breaks and I say next page, you'll see it pushes everything to the next page. All right. If I go in breaks and I say continuous, it says insert a section break and start a new section on the same page. So you see what it does? Let me just reverse it again. Breaks, continuous. You see it adds a break in there so like a space or two or a line space or two um, and then i can continue over there okay so for the purpose of this video we're going to go to uh, breaks and we're going to look at our section break next page so here we have our document and again um, we want this page to display on its side in landscape you can see it has gone over to the next page but don't stress about that okay so we go to the end of the first page and we say breaks and we go section break next page. You'll see that moves down slightly. You can still move your table up, but that break has been put in here now. Okay, so then we go to the end of our table, um, the next place where we can put it in, even though it's on the third page, don't worry about that. And we put in our next section break. So now if we look at it, um, we've got page two and at the end of uh, the table on page three we've got our next section break so now all we do is we click in page number two we go to orientation and we go landscape so what this should do there does it with page one is in portrait page two and you can see the entire table is now in page two is in landscape and the rest of the document is still in portrait so the key here is to create a section break, a next page section break on the page before the one you want to change and at the end of the page 
that you want to change. So that section break will come in on page one and at the end of page two, um, so that page two can be independently formatted and we can change the orientation. Um, you see, if I change it to landscape now, the whole document changes to landscape, but if I change it back to portrait, you can see page two will still remain as landscape. And that is how we can use our breaks.